Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is part 7 of the Corneli FBN, continuation of the earlier video converting the machine to run with a single needle. As mentioned earlier, we will need to lower this section by pulling down the handle until the screw up here is visible. Lighten this off, you'll need a narrow flathead screwdriver. You don't need to take the screw all the way out in order to drop this down. You'll see that drops down with ease. I'm going to lift that up for a moment while I remove the thread which is in the machine. So that's our underneath cord and our bobbin. We need to tilt the machine back a fraction to pull out the slide plate. You can see the bobbin case there as earlier video. Now we will need to actually release both of these because we're going to take out the needle plate from the machine. You can use a screwdriver like so. Just be careful where your hands are and tap that out like so. For this process you don't um, necessarily need to remove the foot but because I'm doing a video I'm going to remove the foot and it is actually easier uh, to have less things in the way <coughs> when you're removing the needle plate. So first I'll pull the cording thread out through the bottom underneath the machine that's out of the way. I will then remove the bobbin case, use the tip of the, the hook knife into the hole near the hook to lift it out. Next the needle plate has one screw securing it down here on the back. We need to loosen that all the way out. You may need to hold the handle for some support when you start to loosen this screw. Now, the needle plates are in quite tight on these machines. Again, Corneli parts, quite accurate. Under the, under the plate, lift it up to remove it. The needles will go in there a little bit in order to lift it all the way out. Then angle it out carefully by dropping it down until it's completely removed. Now, this is the time we do need to take the needle holder out from the machine. There's a needle holder dropping down. So this is the tube needle holder. I'm going to have that replaced with a single. You'll find there's a flat section on the bar above. That's the one that's going to be closest to you when you have the needle, uh, have the handle at 12 o'clock. Drop it back down. Push that up, keeping the flat surface towards you. Use whatever you've got around you to push that up into place before tightening up that same screw above that we lightened off earlier. Check by trying to pull it down. Check that it's in there nice and tight. It's not there. And this will tell you if it's actually hitting the surface, the flat surface. Or not. Just one more push test and the needle holder is in. Raise your needle back up again to the point where you've got clearance that this is not in the way, having the cut section at the front towards you. There is a hole in the back which also corresponds to the hole here, to the pin. So First we need to get the needle into the hole, take the needle plate up before sliding it into the correct position. Do this slowly 
There's no great rush. There we go. I can feel that going in. Now it might not be exactly flat as you can see, but once we tighten this screw up, that will push it down and hold it down. So as you'll see on this plate, there is just a single hole in the center. This is exclusively for the single needle setting. It's not sitting all the way down. Push it down. Need that to be as flat as possible. Now we will need to thread this up, but first I'm going to put the foot back on.